we are about to start a new project that I'm really excited about. We're gonna be updating the light fixture in our main entryway. Right now, the one that's there is a little outdated. It doesn't quite fit our home and where we want our home to be design-wise in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and change it. We got this idea from my parents. They were originally gonna do this, but didn't quite make it out of the works. So now we're attempting it. Our plan is that we have these wine barrel hoops and then put them together so it's a sphere, but they might run, but they'll run different directions. And then for the light portion, we brainstormed a couple of things such as hanging bulbs in the middle or some kind of LED light strip, but I'm not sure how that's all gonna turn out yet. So we're gonna be starting this project and we're really excited. Oh, let me show you what the current light fixture looks like now. Okay, Ford actually just took down the light fixture, but it's over here sitting in this corner. We don't think it's terribly ugly or anything. It just doesn't fit with how we want our house to look. So this is it. This was the molding that was around at the top. And these were obviously here with the light screwed in. And this is a secondary one that was in a different part of our house that we're also choosing to get rid of as well. We got six of these uh, old wine barrel hoops. Look about like this, but with two bands on each layer. Sand them, prime them, paint them, bolt them all together, get some lights in there, and then get all the mount mounting hardware. I'm gonna get to work first on sanding them down. surface kind of lightly scuffed and prepped. So we're gonna string everything up and start to spray some primer on it. For painting the hoops, we're going to use two Rust-Oleum products, just a regular generic clean metal primer, and then a gloss protective enamel to give it a nice dark blue finish. from here is to go ahead and start assembling the hoops. I'm gonna get on that. Assembly is finished. The LED lighting strip that we're going to be using has been installed. And now the next step is to set this up with a hook and a cable to actually hang it from the ceiling. And then braid these wires around that we're using just a simple chandelier hanger setup is supposed to be mounted on the ceiling side typically but it's going to work just fine for our applications on the chandelier side. All we need is to run the wires through it but we also need to fabricate a bottom mount. So let's go do that. We have we just finished the vacuum plate assembly so that our hook can attach to it and then mount all this up. For attaching 
the cable, we have these uh, crimp connectors to create a loop and then these uh, interior sleeves to help protect the wire. Although we don't expect much movement, so I don't know if these are absolutely necessary, but I think it gives it a bit cleaner of a look. We'll connect it to our carabiner, which is rated 130 pounds, which should be fine for static handling of that chandelier. And we'll, we'll pick it up, maybe bounce it a couple times, just see how it holds. Seems all right. We did decide to go with the LED strip on the inside to provide the light and that has been working so well. It lights up the whole space and it looks really wonderful. Ignore the green carpet and the panels. That's something we're going to fix later. Um, so it does look kind of small in this picture but I promise it takes up more room. And when you flip the light on, there it is. So. We really like it. We think it adds a lot to the house and to the entryway and it provides so much light. We do live in Washington, so that's a big deal. It gets dark so early here, so we definitely need something that provides a lot of light and it fills up all this space up here um, really nicely. We think it fits the space well and provides us plenty of light, way more than the other light fixture was able to. 